Hi kids and welcome to Kids Church Online. I'm so glad you could join us again this week as we continue to talk about the fruits of the Spirit. Mr. Hannah, Mr. Hannah, boy am I glad to see you. Hey Lily, it's good to see you. How are you today? Aw, what's the matter? You look upset. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Oh, okay. Well, as I was saying to the kids at home today, today we are going to talk about... Miss Johanna! What? What is the matter with you? I am obviously the calmest, coolest, and most collected person you know, and am obviously very upset. Don't you care what happened to me to make you this upset? I do care, Lily, but you told me I wouldn't believe you if you told me. Oh, stop listening to me and listen to me. I just had a very scary experience. Oh, I'm sorry, Lily. Tell me about it. Well, I was walking down the street when I saw, coming in the opposite direction, a dog. The dog was happy and wagging his tail, so I thought it would be okay to pet him. I walked up to him and he stiffed my hand and kept wagging his tail. So I reached out and petted him, and he seemed friendly enough, so I decided to try and play with him. Okay, so far, so good. Well, well, that's when things went downhill fast. I started playing with the doggy, and all of a sudden, he turned around and growled at me and ran away. Can you believe it? Wow, that's terrible, Lily. We have to be careful when we're playing with strange dogs. What did you do then? I love to get here. I was scared the dog was going to bite my hand. Hmm, something doesn't make sense about your story, Lily. What's that? Well, first of all, you said the dog came up and he was wagging his tail and he was happy and you petted him? He sounds like a nice doggy. So why do you think he growled at you and then ran away? Maybe he didn't like the way I played with him. How did you play with him, Lily? Well, first I played walk the dog. I found a string and tied it to the dog's collar. Then I took him for a walk. We wanted to go towards the store, but I wanted to go to the toward the park. He pulled in one direction and I pulled in the other. Finally, I yelled at him and pulled the leash back toward the park. The dog yelped and I think it might have hurt his neck. That's when the string came untied and he turned around, growled at me and ran away. Wow, Lily, I think I know what happened. You were a little rough with that doggy. You pulled on him in one direction when he didn't want to go that way. And then you yelled at him? He probably thought you were trying to hurt him, and he got scared. You really think so? Yes, and when a dog gets scared, it sometimes growls to warn you to stay away. You're lucky he ran away, because some dogs will bite you. Especially if they don't like what you're doing to them. I feel awful. I didn't even scare the doggy. Should I try to find the doggy again and see what he wants to play? I don't think so, Lily. I think you should leave the dog alone. And next time, be careful and make sure you have a grown-up with you. Don't feel too bad, Lily. Your story is exactly the kind of good thing in disguise. It is? Yes. Now, I don't have to tell the kids at home how important our fruit of the Spirit is. Because you just did. Today's fruit of the Spirit is gentleness. And you were not very gentle with the dog, Lily. You were rough and a little bit mean. And because you didn't show gentleness, the doggy was scared and he almost bit you. So my story is an example of what not to do? Exactly, Lily. That is what not to do. How embarrassing. It's okay, Lily. From now on, you can try to always be gentle with animals, and most importantly, be gentle with people and yourself, too. Jesus told us to love one another as we love ourselves. He wants us to treat ourselves gently, not roughly, and he wants us to treat others gently, too. Wow, thanks, Mr. Johanna. Anytime, Lily. Okay, kids at home, I hope you always remember. Remember, be gentle and kind to yourself and to others. And if you see a stray dog, stay away, unless a grown-up is with you. Before we leave, let me pray for us, if you will bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. And Lord, 
Thank you for the kiddos and the families that are watching today. And Lord, thank you for your fruits of the Spirit. And I pray that you help us grow each one of your fruits. And Lord, just help us to remember to be gentle and kind to one another and to ourselves. Thank you for loving us and watching over us. In your holy name I pray. Amen. Bye, guys!